good morning to everybody om shanti today is 25th june 2024 baba's uh, sakar versions it is morning murli om shanti bab dada haji ban <coughs> essence of today's murli baba said sweet children have the firm faith that you are souls being any task in this consciousness of being a soul and you will have remembrance of the father and not commit any sin so today again baba uh, is telling us the first lesson that i am a soul and in the awareness of soul do all the task so question from today's murli what effort does each of you have to make in order to reach the karmatic stage and what indications you are being close to your karmatic stage eh? two points <clears throat> so what are the efforts baba is giving answer in order to become karmatik make efforts to control your physical organs with the power of remembrance practice i am incorporeal soul i am a child of the incorporeal father the greatest effort you make is for all your physical organs to become priceless the closer you become Uh, you come to your karmatic stage the more every organs of yours will become cool and fragrant the bad odor of vice will be removed from them and you will continue to experience super sensuous soul so soul in the role now so baba says i am playing the role using all the organs of this uh, body and also my own that is mind intellect sense of scar so uh, you are the owner and have control over all the organs first or uh, control over uh, the organs of self then the sense organs will be automatically controlled and physical organs they are the servants so they they have to do accordingly so this is today's murli's essence now baba says om shanti God Shiva speaks you children do not have to be told to whom he speaks you children know that Shiva Baba is the ocean of knowledge and that he is the seed of the human world therefore he would surely speak to souls you children understand that Shiva Baba is teaching you by using the word baba you understand that it refers to baba the supreme soul so baba is playing his part with the corporeal body through the corporeal body of brahma and also reminding us that you are also in corporeal soul now uh, playing your part with this corporeal corporeal body all human beings refer to that supreme soul as the father so baba resides in the supreme abode and baba says i am father of all the souls of all religions you first have to make this aspect firm consider yourselves to be souls and have very firm faith in this you so you souls have to imbibe what the father is to you the knowledge that is in supreme soul has to enter you souls too you then have to relate that to others through your lips whatever it is you study it is the soul that studies when a soul leaves his body he is he is not known anything about studying etc the soul carries his sanskars and goes and sits in his next body therefore firstly you finally have to consider yourselves to be souls you now have to renounce body consciousness it is souls that listen and souls that imbibe when there is no soul in body the body cannot even move so you children now have to have the firm faith that the supreme soul is giving this knowledge to you so so i am this soul uh, getting this teaching from the supreme soul uh, that awareness should be there then mama says you repeatedly forget that you are souls who are listening through your bodies and that the supreme soul is speaking through a body because you only remember bodies 
that because if we are in the body and in the awareness of body, the, and uh, because we are with the body, Bala also has to play his part through the body. So you also know that good and bad sanskars are contained within each soul. It is souls that drink alcohol and speak of dirty things through their physical organs. It is souls that play their parts through their organs. First of all, you definitely have to become soul conscious. The father teaches souls. Souls then carry this knowledge back with them. Just as the supreme soul resides there with knowledge, in the same way you souls carry this knowledge with you. So I take you children back home with this knowledge. Yeah, so this is new point of today's Murli. Baba says, whatever teachings I am giving you, you are coming with me in the home with this knowledge. Then you souls have to go down to play your parts. So your parts are to experience the reward in the new world, but you forget this knowledge. So the sanskar of this knowledge will be there in the soul. And with that sanskar, we will play the uh, role uh, once again in the new cycle. So you have to imbibe all of this very well. First of all, each of you has to make it extremely firm that you are a soul and that your faith should be there. There are many who forget this. You have to make a great deal to great deal of effort on yourselves. You cannot become the masters of the world without making effort. So effort is must. Uh, Baba says, because this knowledge is new, you repeatedly forget this point. Huh? Because up till now, uh, uh, this past 63 birth, nobody has told this knowledge. No, no, neither it is noted in the scriptures, not any preceptors, uh, any guru has uh, given this knowledge. So this is new knowledge. When you forget that you are souls and become body conscious, you commit one sin or another. You would never commit sin by being soul conscious. Your sins will be cut away and no sins will be committed for half a cycle. Therefore, have the firm faith that it is you souls and not your bodies who are studying. Previously, you used to receive directions from bodily beings. Now you are receiving Srimat from the Father. The physical teachers were up till now, but now soul is receiving Srimat from Father. So this is completely new knowledge for the new world. All of you will become new. There is nothing to be confused about in this. You have changed from old to new and new to old innumerable times. Therefore, you have to make very good efforts. You souls perform actions through your sense organs even when you are at your office, etc., if you consider yourselves to be souls while you continue to act through your sense organs, you will definitely be able to remember the Father who teaches you. It is souls that remember the Father <coughs> who teaches you. It is souls that remember the Father Previously, although you used to say that you remember God, you remember the incorporeal while considering yourself to be corporeal. So that is the difference. In devotion, with a corporeal body, we were remembering the incorporeal Godfather. Now in the Gyan, Baba says you are remembering uh, in, in uh, corporeal body to the incorporeal Godfathers. So that is the difference. You never used to consider yourselves to be incorporeal while remembering the incorporeal. You souls now have to consider yourselves to be incorporeal and remember the incorporeal father. This is an aspect that has to be churned very well. Although some write and say that they stay in remembrance for two hours and some say that they remember Si Baba constantly. Baba says no one can have constant remembrance. If you did, you would have reached uh, your karmatid stage by now. <clears throat> not reached means we are not remembering accordingly. So only after making a great deal of effort can you reach your karmatid stage. 
in that stage, all your vicious physical organs are under your control. In the golden age, all your physical organs become by slaves. Every organ of yours become filled with fragrance. <clears throat> physical organs are dirty now and full of bad odor. The praise of the golden age is very lovely. Why? All our organs are filled with fragrance because when we are in soul consciousness, uh, all the qualities of soul will be immersed and it will be radiated through our uh, body. That's why uh, everybody coming in our contact, they will feel the soul's quality, soul's energy. The praise of the golden age is very lovely because they are having divine virtues, the deities. So it is called heaven, the new world paradise, the future and the crowns, etc. that exist there cannot be created by anyone here. Even though you go into trance and see them, you cannot create them here. Why? Because the elements are impure here. So that type of pure features cannot be created, not even picture too. So there is two natural beauty there. Therefore, you children now have to become pure by having remembrance. You have to stay on the pilgrimage of remembrance a great deal. This requires great effort. While remembering Baba, you will reach your karmatic stage and all your physical organs will become full. Every limb will be full of fragrance and no bad odor. Be, remain, will remain. There is now a bad odor in all the physical organs. These bodies are of no use. You souls are now becoming pure. Your bodies cannot become pure <coughs> because souls are becoming, not become, became. So that will only happen when, when you receive new bodies. The praise, fragrance in every physical organ refers to the deities yes? because they are full of divine virtues purity is there so you children should experience a great deal of happiness the father has come and your mercury of happiness should therefore rise the father says remember me and your sins will be absorbed the word of the gita are so clear baba has also said those who are my devotees and those who study the Gita will definitely be devotees, devotees of Krishna. This is why Baba says also relate these to the worshippers of the deities. Huh? They will be the worshipper of Sri Krishna means deity. So Baba says relate this knowledge to worshippers of deities. People worship Shiva and then uh, say that he is omnipresent. Even though they defame him, they go to the temples every day. So many people go to this Shiva temple. They climb very steep steps to the top. The temple to Shiva is built at the top. Shiva Baba comes and shows you the pictures of the ladder. His name is the highest and his place of residence is also the highest. People go so high up. There are temples to Shiva at Badrinath and Amarnath. He elevates us and so they built a temple to him high up. Why we built up high up? Because he elevates us. Just we are climbing the Siri with the lift of Baba. So there too, the Guru Sikhar temple is built high on a mountain. Uh, in uh, Mount Abu, the Guru Sikhar uh, is the highest peak where the temple of Guru means it, uh, the, the Tatra's picture is there. The highest father sits here and teaches you. No one else in the world knows that Siv Baba comes and teaches you. They say that he is omnipresent. You now have your aim and objective in front of you. Who else apart from the father would say this is your aim and objective? Only the father tells you children this. No, no, nobody can tell in this world. You also listen to the story of the true Narayana. Those people simply relate religious stories of the things that happened in the past and tell you what happened next. 
Okay, whatever past the, that story in the form of katha they are narrating. This too is called a story. The highest of five father is telling you a great story. This story will make you very elevated. You should remember it constantly and also relate it to many others. And you create museum and exhibitions to relate these stories. So why we are um, doing these uh, exhibitions and making museums, Baba says, in the form of story with the help of pictures, we are relating the full story, means the part in this entire cycle of uh, the deities. So 5,000 years ago, how to relate this story? 5,000 years ago, there was just Bharat and the deities used to rule there. This is a true story that no one else can tell you. This is a real story which the father, the living lord of the tree, explains to you and through which you become deities. Purity is the main thing in this. Right? To become deity, purity is the main thing. If you don't become pure, you won't be able to imbibe. A golden vessel is required to hold the milk of a lioness. Only then can imbibing take place. <clears throat> so your ears are like a vessel. You, this should be golden vessel. And ears should, we should make it golden vessel. They are like stone at present. And imbibing can take place when they become golden. So unnecessary things also we are listening. And whatever listening we are relating to others also. So Baba says we don't understand the, the true things. That's why it is just like a stone. So you have to listen with great attention and imbibe everything. The story is easy and it is also written in the Gita. Those people relate stories and earn an income. Eh? In that uh, gatherings, Baba says they are earning income because devotees they are, eh? they are donating. So they earn their income from those who listen to the stories. And here you also have an income. Both types of income continue at the same time. The subtle income and physical income. Both we are earning now in confluences. So both are business. You are also being taught. And Baba is teaching. He says, be manmana bhava. Become pure. No one else uh, can say this, nor does anyone remain in the state of Manmanabhava. No human being here can be pure because, uh, because creation takes place here through impurity. <clears throat> the kingdom of Ravan has to continue till the end of the Iron Age and you have to become pure during that time. Baba says this is Iron Age, impure. High age and all creation is uh, through vices only, but in this atmosphere, we have to become pure. The deities, Baba says, not human beings, are said to be pure. Right? The deities, Baba today says, they are not human beings. Uh, they are said to be pure. Sannyasis are also human beings, but their religion is the path of isolation. The father says, remember me and you will become pure. There has also always been the kingdom of the family path in Bharat and that was the time that is golden age you have to know you have no connection with those on the path of isolation here both husband and wife have to become pure when both wills move together that is fine otherwise there is quarreling there is quarreling because of purity you would never have heard of any quarreling because of purity in any other spiritual gathering, because there is no question of maintaining purity. Uh, this quarreling only takes place once when the father comes. Baba says, do sages or holy men ever say that innocent ones will be assaulted? Here, daughters cry out, Baba, save us. The father also takes, ask, uh, you don't become impure, do you? Lust is the greatest enemy. You fall down completely. It is this vice of lust that has made everyone not worth a penny. The father says, you have been staying in the brothel for 63 bars. Now become pure and go to the temple of Shiva. Become pure in just this one birth. 
Remember Shiv Baba and you will go to the temple of Shiva, that is heaven. Nevertheless, the vice of lust is very powerful. It troubles you so much. There is so much attraction. That attraction has to be removed. So since you have to return home, you definitely have to become pure. The teacher will not just remain seated here all the time. Baba says, I am here, but that doesn't mean that I will remain all the time. The study will continue for a short time. And in the school also, the, uh, the time is fixed that within these four years, you will get this degree or some short period uh, degrees are also there. So here too, Baba says, Baba tells you that this is his chariot. And Brahma Baba is his chariot. He tells you the age of the chariot. Because at the age of 60, Baba entered that uh, chariot. So uh, to how long Baba will pull on with that chariot? So the father says, I am ever immortal. As Sri Baba says, I am not uh, mortal. I am immortal that ever. My name is the Lord of Immortality. <clears throat> it is because he doesn't take rebirth uh, that he is called the Lord of Immortality, Amarnath. He makes you immortal for half of each cycle. Even then, you still continue to take rebirth. So you children now have to go back up above. You have to face that direction and put your feet in the other direction. So other direction towards the old world and face towards the new world. So that is heaven. So why should you then turn your faces in the other direction means towards the old world? Some say, Baba, I made a mistake and my face turned in the other direction. So Baba says that means you became the wrong way round. You forget the father and become body conscious and so you become the wrong way round. The father explains everything to you. You must not ask the father for anything. Give me strength, give me power. Baba says, don't ask, you are not beggars. Uh, you just uh, uh, be, uh, deserve it. The father shows you the way you have to become like that with the power of yoga. So power of yoga uh, is must. With the power of yoga, we have to gain everything and we have to become perfect and complete. So you become so wealthy with the power of yoga that you don't need to ask anyone for anything for 21 births. You receive so much from the Father. You understand that Baba inspires, inspires you to earn a lot of income. He says, take whatever you want. See, God says, take whatever you want. This Lakshmi and Narayan are the highest. Then you can take whatever you want. If you don't study fully, you will become part of the subjects. Subjects are definitely have to be created as well. And because this is the kingdom. As you progress further, you will have lots of museum and you will receive big halls and colleges where you can serve. So today's huh, and that blessings are in practical, we are seeing. So you will also definitely receive the halls that people build for carrying out wedding ceremonies. You should explain that God Shiva speaks. I make you very pure, means the deities, the trustees will then give you their hall. Tell them, God speaks, lust is the greatest enemy through which you have received sorrow. Now become pure and go to the pure world. You will continue to receive halls. If it will then be said too late, the father says, I will not take anything from you for nothing for which I would then have to give you a return. At the last, Baba says, so many people will uh, just donate their entire property, but Baba will not take it because uh, when it is needed, Baba will take. Otherwise, he has to return with the interest. So he is a very good businessman. The pennies of the children create the lake and everything of everyone else will turn to dust. The father is the greatest pawnbroker, goldsmith, laundryman, and artisan. Achha, 
to the sweetest, beloved, longest, and now found children, love, remembrance, and good morning from the mother, the father, Bap Dada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children, <coughs> and we spiritual children with love say namaste to our spiritual father. मीठे मीठे से के लदे बच्चों प्रति मात पिता बाप दादा का याद प्यार और गुड मॉर्निंग रूहानी बाप के रूहानी बच्चों को नमस्ते हम रूहानी बच्चों की रूहानी मात पिता बाप दादा को याद प्यार गुड मॉर्निंग और नमस्ते शुक्रिया बाबा थैंक यू वेरी मच सो एसेंस फॉर धारणा फ्रॉम टूडेज मोरली पॉइंट नंबर वन Listen with attention to the true story that the father tells you and imbibe it. So we have to listen, we have to understand. Uh, our story only means our part throughout the, uh, in the cycle, in the drama. And whatever Baba telling, we have to imbibe also. Never ask the father for anything. Accumulate an income for yourself for 21 bars. Uh, everything we are getting as per our efforts only second point you have to return home therefore finish the attraction of bodies with the power of yoga make your physical organs cool make effort to renounce all consciousness of your body very very important point so blessings may you may you be full of light and might and serve many souls while you stay in one place uh, the, the detailed explanation baba is giving just as a lighthouse is in one place and serves far into the distance in the same way all of you can become instrument to serve many souls while you stay in one place how for this you simply need to be full of light and might let your mind and intellect be constantly free from having waste thoughts become an easy embodiment of the mantra of man mana bhava let the state of your mind be full of good wishes pure feelings and elevated attitude and elevated vibration and you will then easily be able to do this service so Baba wants to say that uh, there should be good wishes in our thoughts, starting from thoughts. Then only it will uh, make a feeling and it will and just with that attitude, uh, the energy will be vibrated through our uh, mind, through our eyes, through our entire body. It will radiate in the uh, atmosphere and that will, Baba says, that will serve the souls. The vibration will serve the souls. So this is true service with your mind, that is Mansa Seva. Now slogan for today, you Brahmin souls now have to have might and make other souls into mics. So Baba says you, you might means Sakas, and Baba's power, light and might we have to give to others. Baba says and give this might to the leaders of the that uh, filled uh, that uh, offices, uh, that uh, areas in charge. So in their uh, area, they will do the services. They will become might and you have to give might to them. So then uh, such nice Murli. Thank you very much, Baba. We will remember Baba for a minute.